Uh, Shalom, Shalom Israel. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glorification to the Most High God, Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashiach, Malak, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the name of His beloved Son, who the world calls Jesus Christ, whom is the Savior of the nation of Israel. It's Brother Malachi out of the WFI Detroit camp, coming at you with another cold cut. Right on my daily walk at the moment. And the Spirit compelled me to do a lesson pertaining on to Pride Month. Right? Because you have these wicked and evil doers who glorify wickedness. Right? Who pretty much vaunt in their lust, in their lasciviousness, in their homosexuality. Right? So, this is not of the Heavenly Father. These things are wicked against the Lord. Right, and we're gonna go through the precepts to substantiate those claims. Right, so again, you got June 1st, or the whole month of June, rather, being declared as Pride Month by the so called white man. Right, who are the Edomites, according to the scriptures, our chief enemy, according to Psalm, the 83rd chapter. So, you have wickedness in high places, you have lust in the world, you have evil. And this is why the Heavenly Father told us to not love the world, right? So we're going to bring out this article, or this information rather, pertaining on to Pride Month. It's a recognition. In June 1999, U.S. President Bill Clinton declared the anniversary of the Stonewall Riots every June in America as Gay and Lesbian Pride Month. In 2011, President Barack Obama expanded the officially recognized Pride Month to include the whole of the LGBT community. Right? So, you got the LGBT community. And again, this is against the scriptures. This is against the Heavenly Father. And let's get some precepts on it. Because again, we can't speak our own words. We can't go with how we feel. We have to go dusty of the Lord and the Holy Scriptures. Right, so let's get Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20. It says, to the law, let's highlight it. It reads, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So if you don't come with the words of the Lord, in which the words of the Lord tells us that we cannot be homosexuals, that we cannot be lesbians, right, that we cannot be transformers, etc., etc., this is what the word of the Lord declares to the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So if you're in this lifestyle, you have to repent. You have to change your ways. You have to renew your mind. You have to renew your spirit. You have to come back to loving the Lord and walking out to the ways of the Heavenly Father, which includes mortifying your members, putting away the lust of the flesh, and magnifying the name of the Most High by way of keeping His commandments. It say if they speak not according to this word, it is because there's no light in them. Right? And the light represents the law, statutes, and commandments. They tell you that in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. The scriptures also say the word is a lamp unto my feet. Right? So the words of the Lord have to be a lamp unto your feet to guide you through this wicked, evil, and dark land. And this wicked, evil, and dark land is America. Right? A.K.A. Babylon the Great. And chiefly the whole world. Because the whole world, life and darkness, as it states in Psalms, the 82nd chapter. Right? So let's also get Genesis chapter 13 and verse 13. <clears throat> it says, But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. Right? So these men of Sodom were homosexual men. Were men that engaged in the lust of the flesh burnt in their lust, lusting out the other men, right? And this vex the, 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 uh, this vexes the righteous man's soul. They tell you that in 2 Peter, let's bring that up, right? Lot was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Likewise, the true believers of the Lord in these last days, you're going to be vexed with the filthy conversation, right? Now, this is 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 6. It reads, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes condemned them with an overthrow. Right, so the Lord turned the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. 
right? What was Sodom and Gomorrah uh, known for? The homosexuality, the lust, the sexual immorality. And the Lord turned that city, or those cities rather, into ashes. Right, you can read about that in Genesis, the 19th chapter. And also Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 10 and verse 6. Read on. Making them an example unto those that after shall live ungodly. Right, so Sodom and Gomorrah was a physical example of judgment from the Heavenly Father to those afterward who should live ungodly in a wicked and evil manner. So we have to look at these things that the Lord did, look at his judgments, because the scriptures tell you how the boat's has known through the judgment in which he executes. That's in Psalms, I believe, the ninth chapter. Right? So we know that the Lord is displeased with the works of, of man on the earth by way of the judgments that he set up. Right? So the Lord got the wildfires going on. Right? Now, how ironic is that? Right? During that so-called Pride Month, the Lord has New York City looking like so-called hell. Right? The skies are gloomy. It's red out there. It's dark. The air quality is messed up. Right? So the Lord does things in what they say in mysterious ways. Right? But again, it's all the judgment of the Heavenly Father. The Most High is showing you that he's displeased with this, uh, uh, with this month. Right? And it reads on. And delivered just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. And we vex with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Right? When you at work, you hear your co-workers talk about Pride Month. Right? They all got on rainbows. And we understand and know what the rainbow is symbolic for. What it symbolizes. It symbolizes that the Lord will not flood the earth. Right? You can read about that in Genesis, the ninth chapter. In the 13th verse on down. The Lord set that bow in the sky as a covenant with the earth that he would not flood the earth again. Right? But man takes these things and they make it corruptible. Man takes the works of the Lord and they make it like unto a wicked thing. And they tell you that in Romans, the first chapter. Read on. For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. You see that? So this is an unlawful deed in the sight of the Most High. And ultimately, right? Well, ultimately in the sight of the Lord, but this is also filthy in the sight of man, right? And we're not going to get too explicit about what they into, right? But nonetheless, these things are evil and you have to repent from it, man. Right? So let's also get, there's a lot of scriptures we can pull on this matter, right? I didn't want to make this too long of a video, but let's bring this out. Isaiah chapter three and verse nine. It say, the shoe of their countenance doth witness against them and they declare their sin as Sodom they hide it not woe unto their soul for they have rewarded evil unto themselves so they don't even hide their sin right the pride the 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 the, the vaunting the haughtiness of man right and this is why they glorify in their wickedness right because the Lord said they would do this the Lord said this would be the spirit upon the wicked in the last days to be prideful to vaunt, to be haughty, but the Most High is going to bring down the haughty looks of man. <laughs> right? But let's get second edges. This is second edges, chapter 8 and verse 50. It say, for many... All right, Salak here. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Right, so again, these men, they walk in great pride. Right, they got their parades going on. Right, they all got their rainbows. Right, they're in the nude. Right, they don't give a damn. They're not regarding the Most High God, His works, His laws, or His commandments. They just walk around in great pride, right? So the Lord said, many great miseries shall be done to them. So when the Lord brings famine, World War III, 
martial law, different scourges of amendment. You're going to have people crying out to the Lord in that day, but the Lord is not going to hit them. Let's get that in Psalms chapter 18, verse 41. Right? So this is Psalms chapter 18, verse 41. It reads, They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. So you're going to have these men crying to the Most High God, asking the Lord to save them, but the Lord isn't going to save them. Right? So again, repent from this wickedness. This is not a lifestyle that's conclusive to our nation. Right? We have to come out of these wicked and evil works. So with that, all praise to the Most High God. Shalom.